Well, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful morning out here. It's a Memorial Day weekend, 2024. I remember what year it is. And uh, we're doing a little smoking today. Um, started to prep last night, whatnot. I got some of the video coming up behind you right here to see it. And uh, so we got a Boston butt in there in my smoker. Do a little smoking. Trying something new with a marinate injection into it. And uh, well, let me see. I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, there's some smoke rolling out of there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Hard telling. But uh, we're running around. Let's see. According to what my little diagram says here, 235. So I'm trying to get it down to between 225 and 250 at the most. And uh, my meat probe says it's at 91 degrees already, and I kind of hard find that hard to believe. So I'm gonna have to. Move my meat probe around in there to a different spot. It might be down too low on the meat already. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, that's what we're up to. Is I'm doing a little smoking today. Uh, got to do some running around in here and whatnot. Go fill up some a propane tank or two because I don't run out. And uh, got some lawn to mow, some other good stuff. So I'm going to hang around here all day. Actually, I'll be around here all weekend because I'm on call this weekend. But, uh, anyways, uh... I'm going to try to keep up on it, do a little more video on it as it goes along, see how it turns out. Uh, it's an experimental thing, so I hope it comes out pretty well. Um, it's got some uh, apple cider in it, uh, not cider, but uh, apple juice, uh, some apple cider vinegar, um, and it's got some maple syrup, real maple syrup. Um, and I told you about that in the video here, that'll be following along. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to say good morning. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, if I can spit it out. I need to get more coffee. It's too early in the morning for this. Uh, anyways, folks, I'll keep you updated on it, and, uh, I'll see you in a little bit. All right. All right, folks. It's, uh, Friday night here, Memorial Day weekend. I got me a pork butt here that's been in the freezer. Time to use it up. Uh, try a little experiment here this is the fat cap on the top here and a lot of people will trim these I'm not going to trim it off I like that fat on there because when it cooks I put it with my fat cap on the top and then uh, grease and fat from the pork will cook right down in there and soak in as it's cooking so anyways uh, we got us a, a pork butt and what I'm going to do without dropping it on the floor is I'm going to rub it all down with mustard um for as a binder and then i'm gonna put a seasoning on it here if i can get my hands on it it is applewood you can get it right at the grocery store grill mates applewood it's a rub that's what i'm gonna put all over it rub it in and what i'm gonna do with it is i'm gonna wrap it all up in uh saran wrap let it set in the refrigerator overnight let it kind of ooze into it but in the process, I'm also doing something new here that I'm trying. I have got, cooking here on the stove, it's cooling down now. I have made a sauce for injection into this pork butt tomorrow. I'm going to let it cool down here. I didn't see the steam rolling off it. I'm going to let it cool down overnight. And I'm going to use this big old injection tool I got here, harpoon. And I can suck that injection mixture up, slide it in there, and inject it all over inside that little rig and see what happens. It's something I'm trying. Uh, I've never done it. Uh, I'm giving it a whirl, and I'm kind of making my own kind of remedy here. It has got, uh, I wrote down the proportions in case I need to do it again. <laughs> you see how it comes out. If it comes out, I'm going to want to redo it. But uh, anyways, it's got... Uh, apple cider vinegar in it it's got apple juice in it and the secret ingredient is maple syrup and it is real maple syrup for anybody out there that's not from up north in vermont and whatnot can get their hands on real maple syrup don't be using that cheap stuff off the counter there that's got like 10 15 percent maple in it you need some real maple syrup and so that's in there uh it's got a little bit of crushed red pepper not much just give it a little bit of zing um, and it's got a few other things in there, like some of that Wish Your Sister Was Here sauce, and, uh, some salt, and some mustard, um, and some paprika, um, smoked paprika, that way it gives a little smoky flavor. So I'm going to be putting this in my smoker tomorrow, so hopefully I'm going to videotape some of that. 
Uh, I'm gonna put it in my smoker tomorrow, and I've got some wood chips left here somewhere kicking around if I can locate where they at. I'm gonna start with a mixture of apple wood chips and hickory smoke chips together and see what happens with that. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna get it all wrapped up and in the refrigerator and then uh, catch up with you in the morning. All right, so I rubbed it all down here with some mustard. Got it all lathered up good with the mustard so it'll adhere good and whatnot. And I've laid my cellophane wrap down and I spread it all with the, the rub. So that way it gets in on the bottom side real good and I ain't got to keep going over and over and over with it. Uh, but basically that's what we're at right now. And I am going to commence to putting the rub to it and get it all rubbed in and wrapped up and get it in the fridge. Alright. There she is. She got a good coat and rub on it all the way around. Rubbed up underneath there. And I put extra around the outside edge of that cellophane there. So when I wrap it up, it'll have a little extra up there on the bottom so I can't get under there very good. But it's got a good heavy coat on there and it's already soaking in there pretty good. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. I usually put, whenever I do one of these on, rub it, I will put it in the refrigerator overnight. I like it. They tell you you can leave it like four to six hours or something like that but i'll put mine overnight that way it soaks in real good and as i said tomorrow before i get ready to put it in that smoker i'm going to use that injector and i'm going to inject that fancy sauce i made in there all over into it and uh we'll see how that's going to come out but uh for now i'm going to wrap it up and get it in the fridge all right well there it is folks i can have the refrigerator here this morning let it set for a little bit to kind of come up to room temperature and uh, took this big old harpoon here and stuck it in there in all different directions and whatnot and filled it up with that marinade that I made. And uh, we're going to put it on a smoker. Let it smoke for a little bit here. So let me get out there and get that smoker fired up, warmed up, and going. And we'll get it on the heat. All right. All right, here. Just popped her in. Let me give you a take a look at it see how she looks at all right so there she is she's in there doing her thing i just barely put it in got the chips just starting to smoke there and getting some smoke out of it starting to look good getting the lens all fogged up but anyways she's in there and it is 8 15 a.m we're gonna let that maybe rip in there for i'm gonna try to keep the temperature somewhere between 225 and 250 really don't want to get much above 250 let it cook all day but this is my old beat up smoker here I've had it for a few years it's a charboil so it works good it runs on gas and uh, once you get the temperature so it's kind of maintained and steady you just let it rip do its thing but as I said 8 15 in the morning we got it in the smoker we'll see how long she's gonna take and I'll catch up with you a little later today all right well Let's see, we ain't getting a whole lot of smoke coming out of there anymore, so we're going to reload some chips. It's been in there just shy of a couple hours. I put it in 8.15 and it's uh, 10 o'clock, so yeah, a couple hours. So we're going to open her up here and put some more wood chips in there to give it a little extra smoke. See where we're at. We ain't looking too bad. I'm getting a pretty good bark on there. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can add some wood chips into this bad boy. Get a little more smoke out of it. Yeah, we'll just finish up what I got here. Which ain't a whole lot. Alright, we got them loaded up with chips in there. We'll see if we get it smoking a little more. Get a little more color on it, bark on it. Alright, we're gonna close her up. Let her rip, data chip, because if you're looking, you ain't cooking. Alright, we'll be back. All right, well, let's see what we got going on in here. Our roast is at, uh, our Boston Budden there is at, hold on, it's coming around. It is at 118 temperature in the roast itself. I did move the probe to a different spot, got a better reading on it. And we're running about 250, 254. So that's pretty good. I did put some more chips in it. <sighs> Let me get the fingers in here and get it open. There we go. And uh, let it smoke some more. Pretty much going to get all the smoke in it we're going to get right now because it's been in there long enough. We got a pretty good crust on it. She's looking good. 
So what we're gonna do now is, normally I would wrap it. Today I'm gonna do something a little different again. I'm gonna actually put it in the tin and I'm gonna cover the tin up tight and do that without wrapping it super tight. That way I can put a little bit of apple juice in there with it uh, to help keep it moisturized while it finishes cooking. So uh, let me get that thing out and into the tin and then I'll get right back with you. All right, got her in the tin. Looking pretty good. I had to put her on a piece of tin foil to slide it off that great, so I just put it right in there with the tin foil. And I got me some apple juice right here. We're gonna dump a little bit out of apple juice right on in there, down in the bottom of the pan. It's coming around there. All right, that should be plenty. And I'm gonna wrap that top up nice and tight. Put it back in there and let her cook some more. All right. It's 3.15, been on since 8.15 this morning. I brought it up to about 206 degrees when I took it off. I like mine cooked at least up to 200 degrees. They tell you like 165 to 175 is good. But I like mine brought up to 200 degrees. Um, what that does, as far as I'm concerned, is if there's any fat strings that are strains and whatnot inside the meat itself, at 200, it, it cooks them out. I don't find any fat strings that fat uh, stringy fat or anything like that in the meat if there's any in it it's gone it's just dissolved and it's gone and out of there so right now we're just going to leave it setting here in the pan for a good half hour and let it soak its juices back into itself and set up and then we'll commence to see what we got all right all right folks i got her off the smoker and it seemed to come out pretty good we're going to find out here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull it all apart right now. Tear it apart. Shred it up. Pull the pork. And uh, put a little bit of extra sauce. I made another batch of that same kind of stuff I use for the marinade. Um, I let it simmer longer to thicken up some. I'm going to use it as a, as a barbecue sauce on the pulled pork. But uh, let's uh, tear it apart. Rip it up. See what we got from there. All right. This is where we're at here. Let me see if I can get you in the camera area where you need to be there you go all right so uh yeah i'm gonna a saucepan right here that i'm gonna use um to drain off all the juices here real quick we'll put it right in that same saucepan that i use for making the, the barbecue sauce that way we can drain it off Yeah, she's pretty warm still, by golly. Little pair of gloves on here so I can function. Don't want to fall out of the pan. So let's see if we grab a hold of everything here and drain it off good. There we go. Alright. There we go. So we're gonna save all them drippings. Just in case. You never know what we might need it for. Let's hang up some pots and gloves. Alright, so looking around here to see. Uh, we got this. And I just give me a good old fork here. Alright. And now what I'm looking for here is I know there's a bone here somewhere. I just gotta locate it. Where is it? Right there. Okay. So typically you can always know if it's done and done all the way through because you can get a hold of that bone under there. See if I can get a hold of it here. Get a hold of that bone, and it'll usually pull right out of there. Just like that. Nice and clean. If it pulls out of there nice and clean, you know you was pretty well cooked. Alright, we're gonna set you right aside over there for now. And let me see if I can get this tin foil up underneath here. We're gonna flip it over. We are uh Fat side up is the way I've cooked the whole thing with the fat side up. Maybe we'll just release some of that. We're, we're going to take some of that off. Put it aside here. Let me get a plate to put it on. Alright. As I said, I like to cook mine with that fat cap. I like to cook that on the top. Because that puts all that fat grease back into it there for flavor 
Gotta get some of that cleaned off the top up there. Because she had, a lot of people will trim some off, and I mean, that probably wouldn't hurt for me to trim a little bit off, because there is quite a bit still left here, but it gives it plenty of flavor that way. But, I think I got a good portion of it off in here. Don't want to get all that seasoning gone. That's some good stuff. The num nums makes it taste good. All right. Well, we got the fat cap off there. Now I'm gonna try carefully to see if I can get that tin foil off what I need there. She kind of stuck to the bottom. There she goes. Roll her right over there. All right. Get that in the sink. Okay. Let's see what we got going on down here. Oh yeah, look at that. We just just pushing on it with a fork and it's falling right apart. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. That's how you make a good tender pulled pork. All right. Like I said, I cook mine to at least 200 degrees. Um, that takes care of any of this internal fat. It dissolves it away so you don't have big chunks of internal fat in the inside. Oh yeah, looky there, looky there. Let me get a hold of some tongs here so I can do a little more tearing here. There we go. There we go. Tear it up and rip it up. Big piece. There we go. Just get the fork and shred it up. Let her. All right. So, as we did, we got it all shredded up like we were doing here. Got it all shredded up. And uh, what I've done here is I went through and I made another batch of this here sauce that I use for a marinade. It's kind of a, I'm going to call it a barbecue sauce also. I let it simmer down longer so it got a little thicker so I can use it as a barbecue sauce. And I've got it all in there and it has come out excellent. Uh, the flavor is good. I'm liking it. Um, it's a good pulled pork. It is a sweet. And you can really taste the mixture of the maple syrup. You can really taste that real well in it right now. Um, it's not a, it is a vinegar base, but you can't hardly taste the vinegar in it. So it's not a real bite to it. Uh, a lot of people don't like that. Um, and some people do. All depends. Some people like a tomato based barbecue sauce. Some people like vinegar based. Uh, but I like this is going to be a sweet base is what this one is because uh, it's maple syrup and uh, but yeah it come out good and uh, I'm liking it <laughs> all right so I had a little malfunction there with my camera there the battery was getting a little weak I had to go change batteries out but anyways it come out good um, like I said it's a maple syrup based uh, barbecue sauce so it's kind of a sweet flavor to it I like it um, We'll see. I'm going to give some to Shauna and Derek so they can try it out. And i got a couple other friends I'm going to give some to and let them try it. Uh, see what their opinions are on it how they like it. So, but anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a wonderful uh, Memorial Day weekend. Um, me and Wilbur here, waiting patiently for some more boo. Yeah, you like that stuff. Yeah, it's Wilbur approved already, I can tell you that. Anyways, um, I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And... Uh, Spend time with family and friends, and uh, until next time, may God bless.